when you look at a liver on low power like we are here it's really not much different from looking at that liver grossly because when you look at a liver grossly you see liver which is brown and then you see little spaces between them which are some type of blood vessel if grossly or microscopically you can see that some of these vessels which are all veins by the way have arteries with them and bile ducts you know that's a portal area if for example a vein appears to be all by itself that's more likely to be a hepatic vein and if a vein for example appears to be in the middle of a lobule and is small and has no connective tissue around it that's very likely to be a central vein but if you see a vein which is accompanied by an artery and a bile duct you know that that's the portal part of the lobule if you see a vein by itself that's the central vein this is a normal liver and I cannot emphasize how important it is to get a feel for a normal liver because until you have a good visual uh, image of normal histology, normal gross appearance of a liver, you'll never to be able to understand all of the diseases that uh, affects it. This is not the world's best, most classical normal liver. There's a little cutting artifact here. There's a little crack artifact here. And uh, it looks like it is really a reasonably good piece of liver, like the kind you might expect to see just about uh, anywhere. The thing that your mind has to uh, understand, however, is that when you look at these labials, and if you generally understand that the portal areas are kind of hexagonally arranged around them, and the central vein is in the middle, and that pattern generally extends throughout the whole liver, then you'll have a good feel for it. In reality, however, in the real world, you will hardly ever see a lobule in which you have six nice portal areas uh, arranged like a hexagon around the central vein. That just doesn't happen in real life. That's only what your mind has to uh, imagine conceptually. Uh, another thing that you can rely on is that if you see a vein and there's absolutely no connective tissue around it, you don't have to sit there and wonder whether that's a portal vein or a central vein because all portal veins are in portal areas and all portal areas have connective tissue around them. And all portal areas, besides having a portal vein, will have a hepatic artery and a bile duct. You probably will never see all three of them in many of the labules, sometimes you will if you're persistent, but you can see there's a little artery here, you can see there's a vein here, and you can see maybe this was part of a bile duct. Let's go up one more power and prove this is a portal area. But even if you don't see all three, if you see connective tissue around a vein, maybe an artery, you know that's a portal area. Here's the duct, here's an artery, here's an artery, here's a little artery, and here's the vein. This is the world's most classical uh, portal vein, portal triad. And it's uh, not inflamed. It's well delineated from the surrounding uh, cords of hepatocytes. And it doesn't look like anything at all like a central vein because in a central vein, you only have uh, the vein and no connective tissue around it. And if you could imagine that these hepatic cords and the sinusoids in between them are kind of converging towards these central veins, originating ultimately from all the surrounding portal areas, then you have a real, real, real good conception of the normal liver. And uh, even though I have presumed you generally all have a a good working knowledge of general histology in order to understand pathology. You have to review your normal histology all the time. And if you have something imprinted in your brain like this, then the reviews are quite quick and easy to understand human disease. Thank you very much.